and welcome to Ask an Author. I am so excited because today we are speaking with Vanessa Pallant. Hello, Vanessa. How are you? I'm good, thank you, Michelle. And yourself? Really good. Thank you so much for being brave enough to answer questions that the kids have sent in. No I'm really excited to find out a little bit more about you, not only as an author, but also as a creative person. So do yes. you think you're brave enough to answer the questions? Definitely brave enough. Excellent. I'm so excited. Okay, so we have got a question here from Matilda. Who is your favourite book character? Oh, I thought long and hard about this because you know when, well, when I was growing up, I'm showing my age now, There, I don't even remember libraries. I don't even remember my parents reading to me. And it was only maybe I had a friend that had a book or a book at school. Um, but I really did like The Far Away Tree. And there were three, I think, by memory, like Joe, Bessie, and um, yes, Joe, Bessie, and Fanny. I think it was. Yes. Yeah, I really yeah. loved that. But yeah. then when I started reading to my kids, my favourite was Koala Lou. Oh, <gasps> yes. Uh, it just melted my heart. That one. It was just so beautiful. And my son still has that book because I think it was very appropriate to him because he was the first child. And then of course he had two sisters and um, I think he related to Koala Lou. And when I saw Mem Fox, um, I got her to sign that book for him. So, oh, so I know. Special. Yes. Oh, wow. Mm, it was great. Oh, that's amazing. And um, Noah wants to know, do you have a special place where you have, where you go or where you like to write? Well, I really love going to the beach. I get inspiration from being at the beach, um, just feeling the sand in my toes and the, you know, being able to dive through the ocean. And I get inspiration, but when I actually write the book, I type so it has to be at the computer to actually type it but I do get some good creative ideas from the beach. Mm, they bubble away in your head for a bit. Yes. Yeah awesome um, and let's see here we go. Um, Jasper wants to know do you have a favorite sport that you either like to watch or play? Well I love tennis. And when I was younger, I used to play tennis. I hated all those gymnastic sort of types of things we had to do at PE. And I used to say to the PE teacher, can you just let me go and play tennis? <laughs> and she was so nice. She let me. Oh, oh wonderful. Do you like watching tennis on TV? I love watching tennis. The Australian Open. Um, all, all the tennis throughout Australia when it comes here, it's a bit hard from overseas because it's not at the right time. Yeah. And um, Mason wants to know, can you sing? I think I can. Um, I was actually in the school choir and I was also in a choir called the Happy Wanderers years ago. Uh, but I certainly cannot sing like my kids because they had lessons, private lessons to sing. So, um, yeah, nothing up to their standard, but I enjoy singing. I'll sing along in the car. I'll sing in the shower. Yeah. One of our jobs as mums, I think, is to embarrass our kids by singing in the <laughs> car, isn't it? <laughs> That's right. Blast the music up and sing away. I don't care. <laughs> in the mum handbook, I'm pretty yeah. sure. Um, Henry wants to know, are you scared of anything? Oh, yes. Spiders and snakes. I think that's very common, isn't it? Mm. With people. Creepy crawlies. Yes. A lot of people would probably say it would be talking to people, particularly mm. a group, that they would be scared of that. And that, I think, is number one. Um, but that actually doesn't bother me. So... No, nah, but spiders and snakes, no, nah, keep me away. <laughs> me too, me too. And Bella wants to know, what did you want to be when you grew up? 
I first wanted to be a nurse because I really wanted to help people. And then when I sort of got to the age where I realized what a nurse actually did, um, I thought, I think I'd get too upset when people were really sick. And I just couldn't see myself doing that anymore. And then of course, I, I wanted to be a secretary and I went to secretarial college. And yeah, so that's what I became. And that's what I've been for the last 48 years. As well as an author now. Yes, as well as the author mm -hmm. and illustrator. Yes. yes, yes, amazing. And um, Molly wants to know, what's the best part about what you do? The best part about writing books is actually to inspire and encourage children with the theme of my book is you can do it. So it's basically to make sure that they realize they can do more than they think they can. Um, and I'm a prime example of that too, because I kept on putting walls up about my illustrating because I'd done my books and then someone said, you should be illustrating as well. And, you know, I kept on saying, I don't think I can do that. And then all of a sudden I had a light bulb moment and I thought, how can I tell these kids that they can do this when I'm not even, you know, willing to try myself? So, and I did it. And my illustrations were accepted by the publisher for my first book. So I'm, I'm really happy. So. I love that. I love that you had to take your own advice. <laughs> yes, exactly. That's fabulous. Archie wants to know if you could change one thing about the world, what would you change? Um... Well, there's a lot of things you could say peace and, you know, everyone getting on, but I just want people to realize that everyone has different views and we're not going to all agree, but I just feel it's important to just let people believe in they, in what they believe in and just all get along. It doesn't really matter. You know, it's just people's opinions. That's it. Yeah, and asking questions is a great way to find out about people, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah, and there are going to be lots of kids watching today. I know we've got um, Jack and Will who have um, written in and said that they would really love to be an author or an illustrator when they grow up. What sort of advice would you have for kids like that who are thinking that they might like to grow up to do what you do? I think that's wonderful that they're already thinking about that because as you know, Michelle, you helped me on my journey to start writing and I had a dream. Now I was like 60, I suppose, uh, when I had that dream about writing kids and I just up until that stage hadn't even thought about it. So I think it's wonderful that these kids actually already know that they want to do that. Um, I would suggest that they write something about what they are passionate about, what they know about, so they feel more comfortable doing that. I also think that they should um, maybe start off with just typing or writing or whatever they want to do, how they want to do it, and then go back and reread and maybe change things around, maybe add things in. It all starts with just an idea, you know, and then you can go from there. Absolutely, all you need is one good idea. That's right, definitely. Awesome. Now, if kids would like to get a copy of your books, where's the best place that they can go to do that? Okay, so um, You Can Swim by Vanessa Joy Moore is my author name. Uh, you can search that on Google, or I do have my website, vanessajoymore.com, and um, it's on Book Depository, Amazon. Um, there's lots of different sites. Once you Google, you'll realise that my publishers really got me out there. I mean, even in, um, ah, it's not, Bangladesh. <laughs> wow. I know. Who would have thought that? You know, like there's two in New Zealand and there's a Holland one and there's two Norway and one Sweden and America and like, you know, wow. it's unbelievable. So great. What I might do is I might put a link to your website 
in the okay. description and that way if kids want to get in contact with you if they want to ask you some more questions yes teach you would that be okay as well yes that's fine i've got a blog on my website and they can contact me there's a contact email as well so feel free to to um send me a message oh that would be amazing Thank you so much, Vanessa. I am so grateful that you could come on today and share a little bit of your journey with the kids. And I'm sure you've inspired so many of them to follow their dreams. So thank you so much for that. You're welcome. Bye, kids. Bye.